hands back after a stroke. Certain movement, speech and bodily functions can be affected by the occurrence of stroke coming from the area of the brain that is damaged. Specific parts of the brain have their own function and control specific areas in the body. The prognosis of a stroke patient depends upon the location of the stroke and the severity of the damage to the brain. That being said, it is not uncommon for the hands to feel weak after a stroke. With medication and the right strengthening exercises, muscle control and strength can be regained in the hands, returning you to your normal self. Gaining strength through exercise. Work your shoulders. According to the American Heart Association, repeated use of the affected side of the body such as the arm, hand and fingers opens up new pathways of communication between the brain and the affected area. Shoulder flexion. Holding a weight in your hand, maintain a straight elbow and raise the arm overhead and back down. Repeat the procedure 10 times. Switch the weight into the other arm and then repeat the same exercise. Perform this at least once a day. Shoulder abduction. Hold the weight in one hand keeping the arm straight. Then lift the arm to your side at shoulder height. Return the arm to your side. Repeat 10 times and then switch to the other arm. Repeat the procedure at least once a day as well. Work your elbows too. Here are two exercises you can do to strengthen your elbows and lower arms and hands. Elbow extension. Lean slightly forward and hold your elbow behind you. Lift the weight behind you maintaining a straight elbow and then bend the elbow. Repeat 10 times and then switch arms and repeat on the other side. Elbow flexion. Hold the weight in one hand. Then, bend your arm at the elbow and subsequently straighten it. Repeat 10 times. Switch to the other side and repeat or you can do both elbows at the same time. Do rotations as well. To strengthen your arms, hands, and fingers and get the muscle building, you can do rotations in addition to flexion and extension exercises. Here are two types of rotation exercises that can strengthen your muscles. External rotations. Hold an elastic rubber band in your hands. Start the exercise with the elbows bent at 90 degrees against the body. Rotate the arms out moving the hands out to the side. Repeat 10 times. Perform this at least once a day. Internal rotations. Tie the other end of the rubber band to a doorknob. Then, keeping the elbow at 90 degrees, pull the other end of the band towards the abdomen. Perform this exercise at least once a day as well. Strengthen your wrists. Wrist exercises through the use of weights are considered weight-bearing exercises. Weight-bearing physical activity causes new bone tissue to form and this makes bones stronger. Hold weights in both hands with your elbows bent to 90 degrees. Turn palms up and down 10 times. Perform this exercise at least once a day. With palms facing downward, hold one weight in each hand and bend up to 90 degrees. Lift your wrists up and down while keeping the elbows still. Repeat 10 times. As usual, perform this at least once a day. Understand just how and why these exercises work. Exercises such as shoulder flexion and abduction, elbow flexion and extension, external and internal rotations work on the muscles of the hands, elbows, wrists, and shoulders. Exercising the affected body part or pulling, pushing, or lifting stimulates growth of the muscles and increases their efficiency. Regular exercise increases the number of myofibrils, muscle fibers, in each cell that accounts for 20 to 30 percent of muscle growth. Because of the increased blood flow, the muscle fibers are being supplied with more oxygen and nutrients, leading to an increase in muscle mass. Muscle strength. When the muscle gets worked, they develop more mitochondria, the little powerhouses that convert chemical energy into energy the cells can use.